Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about using switch statements in C. Now, a switch statement is basically a special type of if statement, which will allow us to compare one value to a bunch of different values. And it's essentially doing the same thing as an if statement. It's allowing us to check different conditions. And if different conditions are true, then we can do certain things. But a switch statement makes it really, really easy for us to compare one specific value to a bunch of other values. And I'm gonna show you guys how we can use that in this tutorial to make a little test app. So I'm gonna build a little program that will take a letter grade and depending on the letter grade, it will tell you whether or not you did good or bad on a test. So if you got an A on the test, it would say, hey, you did a good job. If you got a B on a test, it'd be like, hey, you did all right. If you got an F on a test, it'd tell you that you failed the test. So we're basically gonna have a variable where we'll store a grade that you would have gotten on a test and we'll be able to respond to that grade using a switch statement. So it's gonna be pretty cool. So down here, the first thing I'm gonna do is create a variable and it's just gonna be a character and I'm just gonna call it grade and I'm gonna set it equal to A. So we're gonna say that whoever took this test got an A on the test and they did really well. Now what I wanna do is I wanna create a switch statement. So I'm just gonna say switch and I'm gonna make an open and close parentheses. And inside of this parentheses, I'm gonna put grade. So I'm just gonna put grade and I'm gonna make an open and close curly bracket. So this is sort of like the basic structure for our switch statement. Now, here's what I'm basically gonna do. I'm gonna take this variable here that I pass into the parentheses grade, and I'm gonna compare it to a bunch of different values. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna see if it's equal to one value, then I'm gonna see if it's equal to a different value or a different value or a different value. And depending on the value that it ends up being equal to, we're gonna do something different. And these are what are called cases. So down here I can say case, and I just wanna type out a character. So for example, I could put A right here, and then I'm gonna put a colon. And when I put A right here, basically what this is saying is in the case that grade is equal to A, then I'm gonna put some code down here that I wanna execute. So I could just put like a print statement, and I could say like, you did great, because they did great on the test. And basically, what this is saying is in the case that the grade is equal to A, we're gonna print this out, and then I wanna put one more thing down here which is called break. And I'm gonna explain what break does in a second. So I could make one of these little case statements for every possibility, so for every possible grade that we could get. So I'm actually just gonna copy this whole thing, and I'm gonna paste it down here. So now I can put a B in here. So we're saying in the case that the grade is equal to B, I'm gonna say, you did all right. And then we're also gonna break. And down here, I'm gonna make another one, so I'll say case, and this time we'll make it C. In the case that they get a C, I'm gonna print out poorly. And there's a couple more that we can check, so we can check if they got a D or an F. So in the case, they got a D. And I forgot to put a break statement here. And I'm gonna put one down here too. And finally, we're just gonna do one more for if they failed the test. So I'm just gonna say, in the case that they got an F, we will print out, you failed. So, essentially what I'm doing here is I'm writing out all of these different cases. So I'm saying, in the case that you got an F, I'm gonna print out, you failed. In the case they got a D, I'm gonna print out, you did very bad. And then we also have this break statement here. And this break statement basically tells our switch statement that we wanna leave. So whenever we're executing this switch statement, whenever C is executing the switch statement, it's checking to see if grade is equal to each one of these cases. So for example, let's say the grade is equal to A, it's gonna execute this print F, but if I don't put this break statement in here, then it's just gonna keep going and keep checking these different cases. So it's always important to put a break statement in there because I basically just wanna break out of this switch statement. I don't wanna be in here anymore. So finally, we can check one more thing. In the case that the user uh, or that we get an invalid grade. So for example, if someone entered in like a T or a, a G or something, that's not a valid grade. So I can use something called default. And default is basically like an else. So default is going to execute whenever none of these conditions up here are met. So then I can just put something like invalid grade or something. And this will basically be like, hey, you got an invalid grade. So let's take a look at this switch statement and we'll just kind of talk a little bit more about what it's doing. 
basically I'm passing this in a variable or a value or something and I'm going to check this value against all of these different conditions. So in the case that grade is equal to A, we're going to print you did great. In the case that B is equal to grade, we'll print you did all right, etc. And this is basically doing what an if statement's doing. So I could replicate this entire statement, this entire switch statement as an if statement. I could write out if, etc., else if, else if, else if. But this just makes it a lot easier so I don't have to constantly write out all of that if statement stuff. So Hopefully we did everything right and let's actually check and see how our program does. So grade is equal to A. Let's run our program and see what our message is. It says, hey, you did great because we got an A. If I made this an F instead of an A, now it should tell us that we failed. So it says you failed. If I made this a C, it'll tell us that we did poorly. And it says you did poorly. So. This is a super easy way for us to check one single value against a bunch of different conditions. And that's really the point of a switch statement is you're checking one single value like grade against a bunch of other values. And that's where it can be extremely useful. So consider using the switch statements. They're not appropriate in every situation. And there's, I'd say like very select few situations where switch statements will come in handy, but when they are appropriate, switch statements will save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.